Let's talk about movies. While Black Panther continues setting box office records, now it's facing some new competition. Tonight, we're taking game night up a notch. Oh boy. Mm. Someone in this room is going to be taken, and it's going to be up to you to find them. It's a murder mystery party. Whoever finds the victim wins the grand prize. Film critic Lanita Cook joins us with her take on two movies out right now with very different flavors. We're going to start with that one, Game Night, starring Game Night. Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams. That's right. It's got a stacked cast that looks so funny. It is, is, it is much better than you think. So you've got suspense, a little sexy sexy, some sadness even, and then Jason Bateman, he's got those diamond standard quips. I yeah. had a wonderful time. It's about, as you saw, a couple that agrees to do a game night, and then it takes a turn where you don't know if this is part of the game or not when someone gets kidnapped. Right. So you have a couple, they kind of fall in love via their huge enjoyment of always winning, right? Yeah. And so that's what they do with their friends. They have game nights and then one night his uh, brother shows up and uh and that maybe, was Kyle Chandler. Yes, and yeah. maybe some things fall apart, and maybe they don't. We, we will wait and see. It looks good. Yes, yeah. I don't, I don't want to spoil it because it, it really is much better than you would think it would be. So I thought it'd be great because Jason Bateman is so good in Ozark, and he does these dark comedies in which <laughs> you, you shouldn't be laughing, and then you're laughing at these horrific things. Because he just knows how to deliver a great, mm -hmm. like you said, deadpan joke. And, and I've, I've loved him forever. Since Silver Spoons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I do know what you're saying. Hey, uh, movie number two, Annihilation, star starring Natalie Portman. This is a weird one. It's a sci-fi about a group of soldiers that enters an environmental disaster zone. Only one comes out alive, and then she goes back in. So um, the, the thing is, is uh, one comes out of life from a, a previous mission. Uh -huh. So someone that she knows, her husband is in a previous mission. Yeah. They're both in the military, and then he comes back after a long period of time. And so she's like, I need to, she's also in the army. Figure out what uh, happened? Figure out what happened. So she goes into the phenomenon um, that they call the shimmer. Is the shimmer like the, uh, like the flip side, the dark side? You know, world? you know, I think that's a part of the movie's mystique is trying to figure out what it is. Um, it's based on a book, uh -huh. uh, Annihilation, and I have not read the book, but a gentleman, Murray, who is, a uh, associated with a, a sci-fi book festival. Yeah. Um, he, after the screening, explained to me some of the things that the, the movie felt like it was missing because in the beginning, it feels like a rival and you kind of lend yourself over to it, you suspend belief. But then by the end, it like spends a lot of time betraying your trust. Oh, what yeah. do you mean by that? So what I mean is, is you are with them. You're they're, invested. You're invested. You, yeah. They're dropping like scientific terms and you're, you're like, okay, I'm going to look that up and yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> right. but then by the end, you're so confused and, and what did that mean? And so the gentleman who read the book, he said the adaptation stays very close to the book tonally, but there are a lot of things that they add for, to dramatize it, yeah. that kind of make no sense. And it translates for someone who hasn't read the book. And I think for someone who has read the book, the movie doesn't quite measure up. It's a female driven cast. Yes. All women is, with the major characters. Which is wonderful. And, but, but for me, you know, I, I always want to give the girls a hurrah. Yeah. But this one just, just It's not a hurrah. Me. Not, not, not for me. So if you had to pick one, you, I'm guessing, would pick Game Night? It's, it's a great date movie. It's, uh, I'm trying to think, would I take my kids to that? Maybe not my little kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> None of them are for kids, but Game Night you pick is the winner. Yeah, yeah. Lanita Cook, film critic, thank you. Thank you. Speaking of movies,